Hi there, my name is Addison. And I'm Emerson. We're here to talk about being safe online. If you like us, and if you're like us, you're, you probably have had more access to the internet than ever before. And that's both a good thing and potentially a bad thing. Yes, because not everybody is nice on the internet. So we want to make sure that you ha have some tips to stay out of danger and be in the KNOW. To do this, we have to understand what some of the dangers are. Yeah, like phishing. That's right. Phishing is when someone sends you a Roblox message or text with a fake link that they use to trick you into sharing your password or other information. They try to look like a real person or company. Yeah, and phishing can happen to anyone, even my mom. This could happen to anyone, and links can look real. So before you click, make sure that you check that you actually know who sent it, and you can trust that, that you actually know that person. Another way you could get into trouble is clicking on ads called clickbait or pop-ups that show um, up on sites you visit. These are sus and <laughs> can take you to places you really don't want to be. Yeah, don't click on stuff that you really don't know who it's from. So let's talk about um, how to really protect against this and be in the know. K means keep your passwords private. N means never share pictures or videos to people you don't know. O means only download things that you know um, where, where they come from or that you paid for. W means that when you see something suspicious, um, tell a trusted adult. Okay, so keep those passwords private. Passwords are like keys to your house. If you give them to other people, they can get into your stuff. But, and when you make your passwords, make them hard. Don't just write, I love my puppy. Use things like numbers, uppercase letters, lowercase letters, and make it about things that only you know. Wait, I'm not supposed to make my password my birthday? <laughs> no. And don't share your passwords with friends either. Only your close family should know your passwords. Not even my best friend? Right. And never share photos or videos of yourself with people you don't know. This is hard because we are on things like Roblox where we feel like we know that the people we're just playing with, but just because someone says they're, um, says they're Katie from Florida doesn't mean that's who they are. Don't tell people where you live, the city or street or your address. Only download things that you 100% know where it comes from. Download something from someone you really don't know is like eating candy from a stranger or drinking something that a bunch of other people have um, shared. You don't know what is in it. And that stuff can hurt your computer. Exactly. It could in, uh, infect your computer with a virus or even take over your computer and hold it for ransom until you pay someone a lot of money. There's a lot of stuff that's sus on the internet, from bullies to people who are trying to trap you into doing something you don't want to do. So if you get in that icky feeling in your stomach about a place you, you're at on the internet, 
or a conversation, just stop. Find a trusted adult, or if one can't come, help you immediately take the screenshot of what is happening to save it. Yeah, it's totally okay to tell your parents and teachers what's going on. Totally. You're not alone. If you live in Colorado, there's a resource called safetotell.org where you can share info. If you, if you don't live in Colorado, check out stopbullying.gov. Thanks for hanging with us for a bit and stay safe. You matter and let us know if you have any questions. Thanks everyone and have a great day.